Welcome back to Everyday Hockey, presented by DraftKings, the leader in daily fantasy sports. Don't forget to use promo code THPN upon sign up for a bonus. And if you're a regular user, plug that promo code in for a weekly deal. Today, we talk about the first NHL player under contract to come out about his sexuality. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Well, what an exciting day for the hockey world, eh, Dylan? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Luke Prokop coming out as gay, first uh, player under contract to do so in hockey. I think it's a milestone for the league. It's a milestone uh, for the sport in general. Yeah, and just all professional sports. As we've started to see this a little bit more in the NFL and in you know other professional sports, but like you said, this is the first time in hockey. And just shout out to those, you know, Brock McGillis, Brandon Burke, those who you know paved the way for this young man to feel comfortable. Uh, to do th- to do this in this day and age absolutely and you know he's paving the way for others he said the reason he came out to do this was not for attention but to show that there is inclusivity in hockey and to show other young men and females that they can come out and be comfortable with their sexuality and still play the game that they love that's so heartwarming to hear and he came out today with an instagram post followed by a exclusive interview with emily kaplan of espn i encourage everybody after after watching this video to go and check that one out. It, it was really great stuff, some of the things he had to say, and I, I have a few things noted here. Um, he's a WHL Calgary Hitman player right now, obviously a third round draft pick of the Nashville Predators, and he's a bruiser, six foot four, you know, right-handed defender. His game- 220 pounds, he's a bruiser, yeah. He is a, he's a beast out there, and you know, his game is very much defensive defense which is you really have to be in the moment you have to kind of shut your brain off of all the other noise and focus on the task at hand to be successful in that position and he was quoted saying to Emily that this last year especially there was just a lot of noise going going on in his head he had come out to a few players so when he was out there on the ice he was thinking you know who knows you know what's going to happen after the game what's going to you know happen you know in the media if this is leaked this and this and that and he said it was hard for him who you know a defensive defenseman who just has to shut things off and play reactionary hockey and he just felt so relieved upon talking to Nashville and upon you know coming out today to the world yeah you know he said his first phone call was with assistant general manager Brian Poyle of the Nashville Predators and you know Brian said we're a thousand percent behind you we support you a hundred percent he had phone calls from other members of the Nashville Predators so yeah I mean this is just great to see and after that phone call um this is another thing he told Emily Kaplan he said that I felt like I could breathe and this was a this was a feeling that I would I am now going to feel for the rest of my life and I like that so that's just again it warms my heart it puts a smile to my face uh, 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 an amazing day for the hockey world and the LGBT community as a whole. 100%. And, you know, just looking at the hockey side of things, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy's an NHL defenseman. He has all the tools. Yeah, absolutely. Wearing my Hitman shirt. Love the Calgary Hitman. And just one quick note on just the LGBT community in Calgary. I lived there for a few years uh, after, you know, growing up here in Vancouver Island. And I met some amazing people in that community. Dear friends of mine who I still connect with today. Um, Pride, honestly, was the biggest and funnest party I've ever been to in Calgary. So it's a great place uh, there. And there's so much support and it's such a great community well the last thing you want to see as a sport or as a community or as a country is you know any talent being pushed aside because of their sexuality it's insane i mean yeah you you got to take all the talents you can get who cares what people do in their personal lives that's how i look at it yeah and that's what surprised me upon moving there for such you know a quote-unquote conservative province and and city calgary was is so diverse it's a melting pot of both you know, race, culture, and and sexuality. So it's amazing to see. One last note on the player, in 150 uh, games played with the Calgary Hitman and WHL, seven goals, 34 assists, 62 penalty minutes. Again, he's a bruiser, but I'm excited to see what he does this next year, Dylan. 100%. uh, Awesome job, Luke. Yeah, absolutely. That's it for the video here today. Hey, tell us who designed the Calgary Hitman logo in the comments below. I'll give you a hint. He was a former Calgary Flame. Smash that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.